Towards improving the capacity of transformers and wheel more energy, the transmission company of Nigeria, TCN, uses in-house engineers to replace a burnt 60 MVA transformer at Uyo substation. This and more on the program. Hello and welcome to that time when we bring to you news from the power sector, produced by the transmission company of Nigeria, TCN. This is Power Wheel, and I am Chiwenwa Anyao. Take a look at events that trail the power sector, packaged in the power news segment. The Minister of Power, Works and Housing, Babatunde Fashola, has said that the Power Sector Recovery Program, PSRP, a set of policies and action plans meant to reset the power sector, are beginning to yield significant results. Take a listen. Fashola, who disclosed these at a recent 25th monthly power sector meeting held in Uyo, Akwaibom State, said one of the results is the meter asset providers regulation that was presented by the Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission at the meeting. Let me express my delight at chairing this month's meeting because our power sector recovery program which are the sets of policies, actions, and programs that are meant to solve the power sector problems has shown that they are making progress and they are delivering results. One of the results is what we have seen this morning, the regulations that ultimately will democratize access to meters for power sector customers. The minister, who announced more achievements in the sector, said the transmission company of Nigeria has secured a $487 million facility from the World Bank to support ease transmission rehabilitation and expansion program, while negotiations are processing for funding rural electrification and distribution expansion plan. The approval by the World Bank for the sum of $486 million to support TCN's transmission expansion program. Negotiations are still progressing for funding for rural electrification, mini grids, and also for the DISCO's distribution expansion uh, program financing. We hope to conclude those in the course of the year. He also said that TCN has further upgraded its capacity and is working with the Niger Delta Power Holding Company to commission some of its substations. Substations in Kefi, Karu, Abeokuta, Nasarawa, to mention a few, have been completed and are now in service, and this is a continuous undertaking by TCN to expand its willing capacity across the length and the breadth of the country. Fashola said that the implementation of the eligible customer regulation was ongoing as he met with the Manufacturers Association of Nigeria, distribution companies, generation companies and other stakeholders on connecting customers to the available 2,000 megawatts on national grid. He also announced that the new meter asset providers regulation of the Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission would boost the installation of meters for customers by firms other than the discos. But in the last month, we have met with the Manufacturers Association of Nigeria, we have met with the discos, we have met with the Jenkos and TCM on how to implement the eligible customer policy and increase connectivity to the 2,000 megawatts that is now available. 
the Commissioner, Legal, Licensing and Enforcement at NEC, Daffy Akbenaya, presented the new meter asset provider regulation at the meeting. He said after consultations with stakeholders, including the discos, consumers of electricity and financiers, the Commission decided to bring in other players to complement discos in metering customers to eradicate estimated billings. We went about creating the meter asset provider regulations. In arriving at these regulations, we had various sets of consultations with the distribution companies, with consumers, with financiers. And um, I have before you today the NEC meter asset provider regulations 2018. Akbenaya explained that the meter providers will be independent firms provided by NEC but contracted by the discos to bridge the metering gap. Customers now have options that include self-financing, obtaining meters from the MAP with a service charge spread over 10 years. It is estimated that at least 30% of all meters deployed must be procured from local manufacturers and assemblers. The governor of Akwaibom State, Emmanuel Udom, commended the ministry for the support it is giving to power projects in the state. He said the state was beginning to have more power infrastructures and called on investors to invest in the state as they are assured of reduced electricity tariff. I want to only advise factories who are located in Lagos and everywhere who are burning generating sets, come here, we'll give you electricity at a very reduced tariff because uh, it is a way to actually attract some of these people and we really mean it. Let me also thank the ministry for the support. Black Rhino is on. All the bottlenecks have actually been removed. The transmission company of Nigeria, TCN, is set to commission a brand new 60 MVA 132 by 33 kV pass transformer at the Calabar Transmission Substation to boost the quantum of electricity delivered to the state through the Port Harcourt Electricity Distribution Company, PHEDC. The reports. The manager, system operation, engineer Joseph Ode said the Calabas substation, which was commissioned in 1970, about 48 years ago, receives its supply from Adiabo 330 kV transmission substation through a double circuit 132 kV line. Calabar 132 kV TS was established as far back as 1970. It is about 48 years old in service. Um, the station presently receives its supply from a Diabo 330 kV TS on a double 132 kV circuit. If you look behind this transformer here, there is a, a tower. That is the last tower that brings the supply here on line 1 and line 2. Each line is 132 kV uh, network. He noted the facility has 360 MVA transformers installed which were operational, noting that the fourth transformer has been installed and will soon be officially commissioned. These could bring the substation capacity to 196 megawatts, increasing bulk power supplied to the disco, which will in turn supply about six local governments in the state. Presently, we are blessed with uh, 3 by 60 MVA transformer. The foot is on the plinth now, which is about to be commissioned. And we have the first transformer here, T1, by its nomenclature, 60 MVA transformer. We have T4, which is coming in, 60 MVA transformer. We have the next T2, 60 MVA transformer. And then the last is T3. The arrangement is not serial. The arrangement is according to the age of the transformers. And that is why it is like that. And um, we have a total capacity of uh, 48 megawatts per transformer, which is being given out. So altogether, we have about 196 megawatts, which this station can be able to radiate 
out to about six local government which is receiving their supply from Calabar TS. The principal manager transmission Angela Nasir Bellu said the fourth transformer was installed to boost transmission capacity at the substation. With the coming in of this transformer, uh, as you have been told earlier, the transformer comes with three circuits. And uh, one of the reasons why the transformer came up is uh, we have very long 33 kV circuits very very long and we are into discussion with Port Harcourt Electricity Distribution Company to cut short those long lines. He added that the new transformer will increase the quantum of electricity transmitted to Cross River State University of Technology, CRUTEC, the industrial areas and their environs. In the industrial area will also benefit. It will boost the supply going to them and improve capacity what Calabar requires as long as Port Harcourt Electricity Distribution Company takes the supply from us. So this will go a long way in improving the supply to Calabar and its environs. To improve the capacity of transformers and will more energy, the transmission company of Nigeria, TCN, has used in-house engineers to replace a Bond 60 MVA transformer at Uyo substation. The installation, TCN said, was completed within five days. Conducting the commissioner engineering performance and monitoring at the Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission, Professor Frank Okafor around the station, the head Transmission service provider, TCN, Victor Adewumi, said that installation of the new transformer took five days for the in-house engineers to complete, adding that the new transformer will soon be energized. You won't believe it. This uh, work started, I think, precisely on Wednesday. Wednesday last week. Between Wednesday and now, it's just about uh, five uh, days. So it took uh, TCN engineers to uh, couple this transformer within just five days. In fact, it took them four days to couple it. In his remarks, Frank Okafo urged TCN to investigate why the 60 MVA power transmission transformer procured from LEEEC, a manufacturing firm, got burnt or damaged to avert such incidents in future. First and foremost is to um, understand with you the events that led to the uh, setback you had, the burning of um, the transformer. Um, we have had that for the 16 lake transformers, that nine of them uh, had either been burned or damaged one way or the other. And uh, it is important that such a major asset um, should not be allowed to just go like that. Okafo said his visit to the substation was also to see things as they were as part of the Commission's evaluation of TCN's asset base, following a request from TCN for adjustments of tariff. You had filed a request for adjustment of your uh, uh, tariff yes. um, and part of the process is to uh, first of all look at your uh, uh, regulatory assets uh, and see whether it has been captured well uh, in order to, that um, your tariff should also um, reflect the cost of your operations. A day woman who spoke about the 60 MVA power transformer that got burnt in the substation said the LEEEC brand transformer leaked oil as hard a defect of low insulation capacity. We've already sent a committee, high power committee, to so come and do the investigation. So I, I believe they are going to unravel it and they, they are going to turn you know, in their report. So after which we now know what next step we have to take for that. The general manager, TCN Port Harcourt Region, Engineer Solomon Uyoko, 
said that the brand new 60 MVA power transformer installed in place of the burnt one was undergoing filtration to remove moisture from the transformer and strengthen the insulation before it can be energized. We intend to do it for three days. Thereafter, we'll remove it. We'll allow it to cool down for about a day before we carry out the final checks and measurements. After that, we can energize the transformer. He said the station already has two by 60 MVA, 132 by 33 kV power transformers in place, and that with addition of this new one, the station will now have three by 60 MVA capacity transformers that will supply bulk electricity to Uyo and environs in Akwaibom State. This is a, a Uyo transmission located in uh, Afawube and uh, in this station we already have an existing transformer 2 by 60 so with this one coming in now it's going to be 3 by 60 that is going to give us 180 uh, MVA transformer capacity that will be able to supply power to Aqua Ibom State Uyo and its environment As Nigeria's generation and transmission wheeling capacity rises to over 7,000 megawatts, the country's quantum of electricity transmitted for export purposes to Niger Republic and other countries is rising significantly. The managing director of Transmission Company of Nigeria, TCN, and chairman, West Africa Power Pool, WAP, Mr. Usman Guru Mohammed said these at the recent WAP meeting held in Abuja. The relationship between Nigeria, Benin, and uh, Niger is actually improved. Even the payment has significantly improved. It's not as bad as it used to be before. In fact, on the side of Niger, is uh, the outstanding is almost liquidated. It's not uh, like before. And I also want to tell you that uh, we have increased the volume of the trade. Um, the volume of power that moved from Nigeria to Benin and Togo used to be 200 plus 60, but we have moved it to 320 now, so from 260 to 320. Mohammed said Niger Republic was working with TCN to raise transmission along the Kebi axis from 80 megawatts to 120 megawatts while reconductoring eight transmission line along Kanu, Castina Axis, to raise export capacity to Niger. We have agreed with the government of Niger to uh, move the transaction from the North Cove on the, on the northern side, that is uh, from Brinning KB to Yamai. You know, we used to send 80 megawatts. We are changing it to 120. Uh, I believe that in the next one week, we are going to reset the relay to increase it to 120. Uh, on the side of uh, GBR, Katsuna, uh, site is also 80 and uh, that line is constrained by the capacity of the line from uh, Kumboto to Katsuna. We have taken a decision to reconduct the line and we are likely going to increase the volume of trade on that side also. To uh, We are going to increase it. So this is the market. The TCN board spoke of more investments being executed to boost the transmission infrastructure and position Nigeria as a lead electricity exporting country across Africa. Apart from the NOTCO, which the African Development Bank is very much involved, we are also working on doing a median backbone. The median backbone is very, very key because uh, if you look at the, the southern corridor that uh, moved from uh, Nigeria to, um, to, to Benin, I mean to Benin and then to Ghana, it didn't take care of the needs of the northern part of those countries. I mean, we are talking about the Paraku area, northern Togo, and northern Ghana. And this line, we have agreed, all the countries have agreed that we are going to build a line from Nigeria to Benin to, Niger, to Togo, and then to uh, northern Ghana and to, to Cote d'Ivoire. And it's going to be 330 kV double circuit line. That's what we are thinking. The study will confirm what that will be. That line is going to be very critical. The Secretary General of WAP Secretariat, 
Apollinaire Swenkyu Key commended the African Development Bank for the support it has given to WAP, which has facilitated the funding of many projects, including the North Core Transmission Line from Nigeria. You have funded a lot of uh, projects, and the last one you approved the funding is the North Core. Uh, you are founding Niger and Burkina Faso, and I think the founding has been approved by your board on December. So thank you for that. He noted that WAB is working on launching a transitional electricity market phase to strengthen the regional electricity market to boost further investments and growth. About uh, the market launching, we are going to launch it uh, next June. We are working on it, so next June, June we may be uh, invite you to come and assess the launching in Kotonu. So, not no, for the whole market. Oh, okay. Yeah, we want to launch. We should invite the bank. Yeah, we will. We will invite them. Yeah, we are working on it, and I think the next two weeks we will have confirmation of the data. African Development Bank's Vice President for Power, Energy, Climate Change, and Green Growth. Amadou Hortz commended TCN for the good work, saying the sector depends on aid. He said, without transmission, it could be difficult for generation to thrive. He assured of the bank's commitment to financing the new project at the right time. If you don't have the TCN functioning, then definitely nothing will work, even if you have the money for the IPPs or you have a discourse and everybody. If there is no TCN, there is no power anywhere. So uh, we wish you luck and uh, you know that you continue this great work and to do even more because the Nigerian people deserve even more. Welcome back. Let's bring to you news tidbits captured in the Power Flash segment. TCN is also implementing the Abuja Transmission Scheme, ATS, financed by Agents Francais de Development, AFD. The procurement process for the projects under the scheme has reached an advanced stage. Five new substations and a third 330 KV transmission line into Abuja, in addition to Shiroro Abuja, Ajao Kuta Abuja 330 KV transmission line will be constructed as part of ATS. Two of the new stations, 33 by 132 by 33 KV substations under ATS, will be cited as West Main, Lugbe, and New Apo, while the three new 132 by 33 KV substations will be cited at Lokogoma, Kuje, and Guarimpa. They are expected to cater for transmission needs of Abuja in a long while. derive satisfaction when you interact with us on the program. Let's hear from you in the Vox Pop, which is next. Recently, the electricity system has been a little bit okay, better than before. Earlier before now, you can stay three days, no lights, and it will make the goods to get spoiled. But recently, the light has really improved. But although they should still do more, as in they should put more efforts in the light so that at least we will not be having spoiled goods. We have a good electric, electricity supply in, this, in our market now. We have steady uh, power supply, we thank God for that, though that has not been the case. Uh, the Nepal, the 
always give us light and uh, they try. We appreciate that. But the issue, the, our challenge is that the B is too much for us. We appreciate your views. Time to go now, but we will be back here with another informative and educative edition next week. Until that time, please keep watching Power Wheel and hope that you reach us through these platforms. I am Chinwenwa Anyao. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.